It literally just feels like somebody is putting like a Brillo pad against my skin, which I know that's not very pleasant sounding, but it's gonna make me pretty. So go right ahead and Brillo away. Go ahead and just show you how it feels, like what exactly the vampire facial is and just do it on myself. What women do for beauty. Like a Reese's peanut butter cup, better together. I got my O shot today with Dr. Bonnie Freeling up in Columbia, Missouri, and she nicely gave me my own extra tube of PRP, which she said she was gonna throw away anyway. So she said, put it on your face at night. It's gonna soak in and work really well. And I thought, why don't I do a vampire facial on my own face because it's skin pen. I can operate that and just rub in the PRP above it. Skin pen's the microneedling device that we use at our office for just refreshing your complexion, evening out skin tone. I've got a little bit of sun damage and freckles, so that will help a lot. The last time I had a vampire facelift was, was two years ago when I got my O shot and Dr. Freeling did my O shot. So I'm super grateful for her. It didn't even hurt a bit. She was so good. The ERP that she gave me, just she just put it in a syringe, said, keep it refrigerated. You can use it today. So I'm gonna go ahead and just show you how it feels like what exactly the vampire facial is and just do it on myself. Just kind of see how my face looks over the next couple of days. I think I'll get in this really bad lighting. I always have this kind of freckles right here. They I mean the skin with mild cleanser and what I use is, use is Puricin. Puricin is just wonderful first aid treatment, super safe. I can squirt in my eyes, show the patients this all the time and they think it's so funny. Square in my eyes, didn't even burn at all. So that kind of helps them to know that Pearson will not hurt at all. I'm gonna wipe my face down with this. I'm gonna go ahead and position this so that you can kind of see me do the skin pen procedure to myself. And it's microneedling with PRP. Okay, I'm gonna take this like that. Let's put that here. Get started. So you can kind of see all the freckles. Next thing I'm gonna do is apply numbing cream. This is BLT cream, which stands for benzocaine, lidocaine, tetracaine. This will literally make my face very numb. My O-shot area is still numb and I had that applied. Dr. Freeling applied that this morning at 11 o'clock about, and um, or maybe even 11.30 and it is still numb and it is almost seven o'clock at night. Amazing. This cream is very, very numbing. It's 20% benzocaine, 8% lidocaine, atricet, 8% tetracaine. Doesn't take too much. All right. Whenever you do this, you don't want to like touch your face with your hands because it will really feel numb or and you don't want to like lick your face. Not that you're lick your face, but in case you're having it on your lips, you want to lick your lips. Then your lips would be your tongue would be numb. This is my PRP from when I got my O-shot today. You can kind of tell that the blood, these are like some of the platelets, so I'm just gonna slightly roll it in my hand like this because I got this back when I leave our office. I think I left the office around 1.10 this afternoon and it is now almost seven o'clock. So this is my own PRP, which we use Pure Spin, which is our centrifuge right here when we do our PRP procedures. I don't know what centrifuge she uses, and this is what we're gonna apply. So I'm gonna let that settle in my face right now. It feels a little bit numb, but weird. Skin Pen is a really good microneedling device. We've used it for the past two years and love it. it always comes a little cartridge just for each of you and Skin Pen directions. So this is the actual my microneedling device. It's a skin pen and it comes with a cover so that each person has a completely closed system to put the safety cover on so that it's a completely closed system so we don't share bodily fluids between patients. It's like aerating your lawn over and over per second. And what that does is it causes trauma, right? It causes trauma underneath your skin. So it activates platelets. Platelets are gonna go in there. So I'm going to look like Freddy Krueger after. And as a condom is, really hard to put on this off. This off. There you go. So I'll put this back. So completely closed system. And I'm gonna apply the skin pen here. 
typically start with a level of 1.5 millimeters depth because I want enough depth to like create skin resurfacing pretty much with my PRP. So I'm gonna start with 1.5. If it's too much, I'll start to bleed right away. But if you can look really carefully, those are all the little needles. Do you see the little needles right there? So they continually stab your stab your skin over and over while you pass over it. And I always use kind of like a round motion. I just tend to do that. My skin is getting like so numb, it feels really weird. Like there's some devices I know that like will inject while you're microneedling, but the data shows you get just as good as results of like doing all the microneedling, causing all the aeration of your lawn, and then just applying the PRP and letting it soak in does just as good. I'm probably gonna drip a lot on my shirt, which is fine, but I don't have anybody here that can film. So yeah, this is my platelet rich plasma, like a Reese's peanut butter cup. Better together. It's been about five minutes since I applied that cream. Turned it on. Oh, it does not hurt at all. It just literally feels like an irritation. It starts on my forehead. It's a little irritating. It's like not bad at all. On a level of zero to 10, it's probably a five or six. I am not tough, so just remember that. So see how red that is? I'm going to apply a little bit of PRP. See that? Liquid gold, man. Liquid gold. Oh, it like is very soothing. Let's keep going. On. Once you get going, it doesn't hurt as bad. At first you're like, eh, I don't really like this very much. But see, I need this redness. This redness means that I got enough depth. If it's not turning red, if it's not uncomfortable, you're not gonna get any results. It literally just feels like somebody is putting like a Brillo pad against my skin, which I know that's not very pleasant sounding, but it's gonna make me pretty. So go right ahead and Brillo away. And it's normal to get bleeding. It's really not bad at all. Gold. Mmm, that feels good. Already without my PRP, like my platelets are being activated already. Because it's like, hey, I just got stabbed thousands of times a second by this microneedling device. I better start healing. So ready. My platelets are going to this area of my face and away from all the other parts of my body to try to heal whatever is hurting and bleeding and stuff, man. Do you think I'm crazy for doing this? I don't think so. Remember what our grandmas used to say? If you want to be pretty, it's got to hurt, right? Alright, you guys, so I'm probably only going to need to do this for another one minute and we are done. It's weird, it's like once you do the first pass, it's almost like your skin doesn't even feel the pain anymore. So look how much deeper I'm going now with my, I'm able to do circular. It's cool. Like it doesn't even hurt now. So after the first pass, it doesn't even hurt. Seriously, barbed wire's gone and I am just enjoying this because I'm going to have a good complexion and good skin. Uh, I'm so glad Dr. Freeling is so sweet if she sent me home with my own PRP. <laughs> and then we always give people the Vampire Ultra Cream after. Cool. Okay, I'm ready to do my neck. Ooh, feels like a bad picky job. <laughs> Ooh, pickle. It seriously does not hurt at all. 
I know I look like super scary right now, but it's gonna be good for me. What women do for beauty. I have a little thyroid scar here, but it's fine. It doesn't bother me at all. I guess I can get over it. Go over it. And turn this off. I might go over my little thyroid scar. We'll see how that goes over the next couple days. I'm gonna apply the Soothing Liquid Gold, which is my own PRP. Oh, it feels so good. So even without PRP, you're gonna get good results, but with your own PRP, it's even better because you're adding all those platelet-rich plasma into your skin instead of just your own skin bleeding and healing. More liquid gold. Cool. Oh, nothing fancy. Just applying PRP to my skin. Look, there's like hardly any blood loss. So if you've got like graying skin, uneven skin tone, acne scars, the acne scars are tougher to treat. If you think about it, you've got to do m multiple treatments to really get those acne scars. So it's not just one treatment. I'm so glad you guys joined me. How do I look? Not too bad, huh? I don't see much blood on this, but those are the needles. If you kind of want to see a moving around, it's kind of cool. Let's see if we can get up close. There it goes. See how they're going up and down. Cool, huh? Get back to work. Oh, like, I totally don't feel anything now. Like, it doesn't even hurt. I could do this all night long. Mm, nose is not bad. Tip of the nose is tender. I know I look super scary, but I know it's gonna look great. It doesn't hurt at all, you can tell. I'm like going like a banshee. Okay, let's apply that liquid gold. Not much blood on the tip of that. If I have an assistant, I'm laying on the bed, or the patient's laying on the bed and the assistant is dripping this in, but I don't have an assistant. My husband's still working late a lot and he doesn't like to see me in pain so he would not like to do this on me at all. This is how it looks. This is all that goodness in. Cool, huh? What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna save this, and in about two hours, I'm gonna apply some more. Especially the vampire hair growth, take the leftover and apply it just about, oh, two hours after the treatment's completed, which we are done. So we're gonna save this for later. Just a stopper, just so it doesn't like fall out. And I will see you guys in two hours. Oh, actually, no, I forgot to put the Ultra Cream on. I who invented this, it's called Vampire Alter. He's a diabetic foot doctor. He was trying to figure out how to heal people's diabetic foot ulcers. And he happened to be traveling in China and discovered that when women were eating a certain plant, they couldn't quit bleeding, like they had heavier menstrual periods because of increased blood flow. So he thought to himself, for beauty, if he combined that plant with a collagen-like effect, which is the Vampire Alter Cream, it will help with the face. Really apply. I'm gonna come back to you guys in two hours. Right now it's 7.15, so that only took a total of, probably with all the chit chat, that was 15 minutes. So in real life, probably would just take 10 minutes. And the processing of the blood here takes about 15 minutes, the blood and processing it. And then we spin it twice, so we get seven times concentration. That's the other thing is you wanna ask your provider how much concentration of platelets they're getting because you want a good concentration of platelets because the more concentration, the better the results. I've had people use this morning and night as their beauty routine. Really good stuff. And see you soon.
It is now 8.50, it's close enough time to put the rest of the PRP on. You can tell that my skin definitely has the microneedling effect all over. So that's a good microneedling. Take the PRP and I'm gonna go ahead and take my ring off just so it doesn't get nasty. Here we go. So this is again liquid gold. This is your own PRP. You'll get all over the place and put that on about two hours later. We have our patients do this whenever they have the vampire hair growth. Two hours later, you just wanna put that all over the areas where you had that microneedling treatment just to get all that good PRP into those areas of microneedling where you aerated the lawn. So this is going everywhere. Don't forget the sides. I'm gonna use all this liquid gold up. And PRP doesn't smell bad at all. It doesn't smell like old blood or anything. It just smells like nothing. Doesn't sting at all. It actually soothes it a lot. My face is just slightly tender, worse than a bad sunburn. You can tell as I'm, I'm massaging, it's how that blood's going everywhere. So that's normal. I always wondered if it stings, if it goes in my eyes. So I'm gonna make a little bit go into my eye on purpose and I'll let you know how it feels. But I'll do it at the very, very end in case it stings so much that I can't stand it. With this little bit left, I'm going to put it actually in my eye. It doesn't sting at all. Wait. No, it doesn't sting bad at all. So use any kind of, use your normal cleanser and I'm gonna go ahead and wash my face. Feels good. Now what I'm gonna do is apply the Vampire Ultra Cream right after cleansing. I'm gonna do this morning and night. Okay, let's get updated every day. I sleep and... Good morning, it is the next day and you can kinda of tell all the, pretty much, it feels rough. Pretty much very, very roughed up skin. How's my neck doing? Not as bad, but I didn't go over my neck as much because I'm more tender. It just feels kind of rough. It's gonna get real pretty. I'm gonna go ahead and wash my face and then apply Vampire Alter Cream. And I'll see you guys tonight. We are about 12, 14 hours past the time I did the vampire facial and totally doesn't hurt, just looks pretty bad. My patients were saying I just look like I got in the sun a lot, but um, I'll, I'll keep updating you guys. So neck is not bad, but I didn't do as much on my neck because it was more tender there. But yeah, that's how it looks. Good morning. It is Thursday morning and so it has been a full 36 hours since the vampire treatment. The swelling's definitely gone down. There's no pain. Um, yesterday, probably, it just hurt for about three-fourths of the day. I did it on Tuesday night at seven o'clock. So by the 12-hour mark, the swelling remarkably had gone down. The redness had gone down. But yesterday morning definitely looked really puffy. That's how this looks. And then my neck area. Now I will just let you see the results as the three months go along. So anything PRP for face and O shot and P shot takes three months to get the full effect because it takes three months to form new blood vessels and new nerves and new collagen. So um, in my videos, we'll just kind of see my face transform. So I'm super excited. I should have much more even skin tone radiance and less appearance of grayness. We get all that as we age. So super happy I was able to do that. Thank you, Dr. Freeling, for my extra just vial of PRP so I could use that. In my another video, I need to upload about how the O-Shot uh, felt after the procedure and I can kind of update you later on on how it worked. Day two, a lot of the swelling's gone down. Pretty much this is normal and a lot of the redness went away even by the 24 hour mark. 
So super excited to see the results over the next three months. It takes three months for PRP to really take effect with the new collagen, nerves, and radiance. So super excited. See you guys later.